hello guys hello people my people what that shall never end group of angry youth attack aisha buari which is the first lady of nigeria muhammad jubri her wife hey my god my people these people are heartless it what am i beg make it just be say the news now confirm and truth you know why now for nigeria university shut down for more than eight months right now no school no study nothing nothing and muhammad jubri failed to do something the aisha buhari so-called first lady of nigeria was so bold to post for her uh, social media platform about her in when he just graduates for one university like that for his side uk like seriously are you guys serious right now my people are you guys serious right now are we waking up or not i am so happy for the energy nigeria youth have now for how they wake up in a hurry right now i am so proud my people anything when they let me they do to these people they deserve everything when they get now they deserve them because still they day house they, you imagine somebody when you supposed to finish school now with how many years we don't even know when this thing is going to end i saw strike dead dear muhammad do you bring some money not there to settle those people to put education right for our country for our people but muhammad do you bring get money to test sponsor in law for school for 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 outside nigeria and that one graduates now they were so bold and comfortable to post it aisha buhari post them huh? they see nigeria they see us finish huh? they see us finish nigeria people wake up wake up yes the attack 100 percent i support it anything they lie made they do to muhammad the jubri wife is none of my business they deserve even the jubri is self deserving all of them when they put us for this state of emergency they deserve it so guys should the case you don't know nigeria politicians all of them all of them none of their children they school for nigeria none of their children if you think i'm lying i'm just gonna be showing you this is sibajo this one uh even the so-called article this one uh, just look at them uh, look just be seeing the pictures i will just put it there mohammed jubri daughter and his son uh, they, they graduate i think uh, uh 2018 see the pictures shamelessly they will post it because they know you can't do nothing they know you are just writing when you get to the time to vote they're just going to give you two thousand five thousand probably one million naira, and you then buy your vote and you 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 are you are allowed to cease noise keep quiet for the for for more than eight for eight years long you're just going to shut up take anything you see and this is so fair that is the reason why we are bringing in a honest man that we have seen among all cop mr peter will be who will come and change this narrative for us who will come and invest in education because education is key these people deny us education in nigeria right now because they want their children to grow up and come and slave us again for the second time i am telling you that's their mission that's their plan for you that's their plan for me so earlier we know it's better for us so i beg you guys with the name of god election is coming up come next year 2023 at least god have been able to raise somebody right now who have done this before and he can do it again he did before so this man is promising us everything let's give a try to this man my people we cannot continue to wallow in this kind of frustration country be ruled by by, by heartless human beings I am telling you, there are children. You know, no way to see bad picking they read. These people travel all the way to UK to study a uh, law. A lot of them went there to study politics, science, whatever, blah blah blah. They study without them being stuck at home. They go to school every day, and they they finish their education according like. When, when you are 22 years you are supposed to finish 22 years they finish but you in nigeria under the roof of muhammad jubri under the dictatorship lead, leader of muhammad jubri and asiwa jotinubu and atiko and so on and so forth you are not going to finish the same way their children graduate you are not going to graduate like that 
what will take their kids five years is going to take you more than 20 15 years right now yes it's going to take you Mohammed Dubri is so concerned about cow, real cow in Nigeria, that to invest in human beings. That is to tell you how bad we have become, our country has become. I am telling you, and we cannot afford to miss it again. We have been missing it since only God knows when. But now that God has finally raised someone that, that is also having feeling what we are feeling, who said, let's put our country first and you are here trying to be bribed taking bribe from this cabal you want to sell out your country just see now see what you worry do now see what you worry uh, wife do now because they don't care in this condition that we are now in nigeria is this woman supposed to post a picture like this this woman supposed if she get hurt they really they really own something for now they really take her like their children the, this woman supposed to post this thing in this time when Nigeria youth are at home. They are forced, they are being forced to stay at home. Not that they like it to stay, they need to. Because Muhammad Jubri says so. My people, I beg you with the name of God. It's not gonna affect me. I live here in Germany. Many of you know. So your politics there, either if it's good or bad, it have no effect in me. But at least we need to be proud of our country. We need to be here seeing our country doing well. It will give us so much joy. I'm telling you. You will be proud to call Nigeria your country. Even if you are not living there. That's why we all are trying to fight to get this country right this time. We cannot afford to, to lose a good man like this. We are not saying he's 100%. He's a human being. But at least he has the heart to start from somewhere. So let's give him a try. We have been trying at Tico. I think we almost sold out Nigeria, if not for God. He almost. And this same person who is telling you now, asking for your vote to rule your country for you, don't even live in your country. He don't know how you guys are feeling. This man live in Dubai as we speak. He have all his property in Dubai. Can we wake up for goodness sake? Can we really wake up right now? Like seriously, our parents, they have fed us our grand grandfather fed us and you are still here about to fade your own generation you better think twice these people are taking us for a ride and we can't take this no more we cannot i am so angry in my spirit right now that i don't even know the word the right word to use but this is wrong what they are doing to us muhammad the jubri wife boldly proudly post this picture on air when you know that in Nigeria right now, university have been shut down for months and she didn't say anything about it and she said nothing wrong about it because this thing is not affecting them. It's affecting me and you, my family and your family. So think twice. My name is Jama First Lady. Like, subscribe and drop your comments under this comment section below. Bye-bye guys.